the British countryside. There's nothing like it. I'm here in the beautiful but rather windy Lake District to explore some of the scenic walks on offer. This year is the 60th anniversary of the Lake District National Park and it is top of the list to go to if you're a walking enthusiast or a novice. There's so much to enjoy. Arthur Ransom used Coniston Water as the setting for his novel Swallows and Amazons. If you'd like to travel across the water, what better way to do it than on a magnificent restored Victorian gondola? Set yourself a challenge by climbing the Old Man of Coniston. The scenery is dramatic and has a story to tell about the history of the Lake District, where its industrial past sits alongside its rural heritage, from old copper and nickel mines to grazing land for sheep. And you can get to every bit of it on foot, and it's very cost effective. But first things first, you've got to get the right gear for anything the great British weather might throw at you. So what should a walker, when they're coming in to buy a pair of shoes, look for? Most important thing is fit. You need to make sure the boot fits really well, so there's no movement at all. Any movement will cause blisters. A good fit will mean it's comfortable all day for walking. We don't want to think about rain too much. But it's important <laughs> to be crossed. dry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this, this is, is a nice colour. Breathable and fully waterproof. Mm -hmm. Very light to pack in your bag as well. Yeah, OK. And also a very attractive purple and blue. I like the colour. Yeah. That's a good one. You could spot me. There we go. Oh, yeah. The water resistant zips are really useful to keep a bit of extra water out so you can keep safe things in there. OK. And also to carry a map and anything useful. Brilliant. Well, we're hoping for no rain, though. Absolutely. So we don't need the water. We can try and guarantee <laughs> sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> so with a T-shirt, am I all right just with a normal one or, or have you got to get something special? Not at all. You need to stay away from cotton. For a breathable jacket to work, you need to work with a decent breathable base layer. Something like this would be perfect. And what's that? This is Icebreaker Merino. Yep. So it's breathable, dries really quickly and also keeps you warm if it does get wet. So. A bag is obviously very important to keep your bits and pieces, your map, your water, but these are all massive. They are. For a day pack, you want to be looking at about 30 litres would be perfect. 30 litres? Yeah. So what's a good make? Something like the Osprey Talon. Yeah. It's very light for how big it is. Mm -hmm. Very breathable on the back panel. Do you want all to try right. that for size? Because it looks really big. Oh wow, it's very light though. It is. Most I'll important thing is to get a good fit on the back length. Yeah. I want to make sure to minimise there's no extra space here. Right. So that will carry the weight nicely. Right. Here we go. That feels really good, actually. We're starting here at Coniston Water, in the heart of the Monk Coniston Estate, which is owned by the National Trust. We're always told we should be living healthier lifestyles and walking in the British countryside is such an easy way to take your first step. If you don't want to do all the organisation on your own though, a company like HF Holidays offers guided walks or planned routes. Hi. Hi Jodie, welcome to Coniston. You're Steve, nice to meet you. Steve, this is the most beautiful estate. Can you tell me the history of it? Well, the old house here would have been at the centre of the very big Monk Coniston estate, which is all the area we've been walking today. It was then bought by a wealthy mill owner who came from Leeds, and he did lots of things to improve the local area, including he made the lake at Tarn House, which is oh. quite incredible. It was then uh, bought by the National Trust, mm -hmm. uh, who still own it today. Uh, and since uh, 1945, we've leased this and we use it to run our walking holidays from here. So basically you're in the most beautiful places in the UK? Yeah, we're really lucky. We own properties all around Britain, but they're all in absolutely stunning locations like this one. I mean, the Lake Districts is, is brilliant. Got something for everybody, whether you want to climb big mountains, do lovely short walks. There's so much to do. And, you know, views like this, you can't go wrong, really. I'm telling you, you can't get any better than this. I've arrived at Yew Tree Farm, once home to Beatrix Potter, and the filming location for Miss Potter, starring Rennie Zellweger. Well, Caroline, I have to say I'm very, very excited to be here because I was brought up on Beatrix Potter. So we're here in front of her house. Can you tell me a little bit more? 
Yeah, Beatrix Potter was associated with the house from about 1930 and she was involved in farming with the Herdrick breed and she was a real campaigner to try and protect the Lake District and the, and the way everyone was living at the time. So you're keeping this very much as a working farm as Beatrix wanted it to be? Yeah, I'd like to think that we'll hopefully continue on her legacy in some way. Mm -hmm. We have a business that supports the, the meat side of the Herdwick and the, the Galloway cattle. She was very passionate about the Herdwick breed and we feel that by you know, promoting the breed and its meat produce, that's supporting it. We also try and campaign for people to purchase wool products. You know, mm -hmm. all of this supports the farming in the area. No, I think it's wonderful, certainly living in her legacy. Mm -hmm. An amazing woman. Yeah, she was way ahead of her time. Mm. Mm. Joining me for the last stretch of my walk is Karen Inkster from The Ramblers. The Ramblers organise hundreds of group walks across the UK every week. Karen, so tell me a little bit more about the Ramblers. Well, we had our 75th anniversary last year, so we do 28,000 walks a year uh, in England, Scotland and Wales. So it's a massive organisation that takes you into wonderful places like this, like Loughrigg Terrace. It's not just uh, walks that we do, we do lots of extra stuff as well. And we've got funding from Big Lottery to, to get people in urban areas out walking. So yes. I think people think of Ramblers as just coming to wonderful places like this yep. uh, and romping up mountains, but, it, but it's not at all. Yeah, we do urban walks and things as well and specific and, projects. And how have you found um, the popularity? Is it definitely growing? Or? Yeah, well, it's, walking's free, isn't it? And it's great for your health and, and mental kind of stability as well. Yep. And we find a lot of people come and walk, and so it's for the social aspect. Mm -hmm. um, and we're doing a big push just now to have young members so basically you can be any walk of life you can live in the city you can live in the country you can be any age yep and you can come out and enjoy a beautiful walk absolutely yeah and we encourage people to do so well i think if everyone can see this backdrop i think they'll all be queuing up hopefully <laughs> it'd be nice wouldn't Gorgeous. it <laughs> This is all within your grasp, whether you're an experienced walker or you've just discovered the delights of getting out and about. It's all just a drive or a walk away. So why don't you visit cotswoldoutdoor.com to find out more about some great walks around the British countryside. Next time we'll be heading to the New Forest for a perfect stress-free camping holiday.